All right, so we are going to practice multiplying multi-digit whole numbers using the area model. So I'm gonna do two examples. Number one, let's just try 52 times 34. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is break these two numbers apart according to place value. So this would be 50 plus two, and this would be 30 plus four. Then we have our area model that we draw, which is going to be a big square. This um, strategy is really helpful when looking at place value. So I'm going to break it apart. We've got 50 plus two on the top. I'm gonna break it apart horizontally and do 30 plus four. So in this first square, I'm going to combine 50 and 30. So 50 times 30, while it seems like a big number, these are both friendly numbers. Five times three we know is 15. And then we just drop two zeros. So 1,500. And then we have 30 times two, which we know is 60. And then here we have 50 times four. Five times four is 20 and then we drop a zero, and four times two, which we know is eight. So all of these answers in these little squares are called partial products because they are part of the final product. Then we just take all four of those and we add them up, line them up according to place value, 1,500, 200, 60, and eight. When we add those up, I have an eight in the ones place, a six in the tens place, five plus two is seven, and I drop that one, so my answer is 1,768. I'm gonna show you how we check that. If your parents are watching, they probably learned using the standard algorithm. So we're gonna check that using the standard algorithm, 52 times 34. So we know we multiply everything by the number in the ones place first. Four times two is eight. Four times five is 20. And we have to drop that zero. I like to put a smiley face in it so we know we're almost done. And I'm done with the four. So now we have three times two, which we know is really 30 times two. But since we have a placeholder, we look at that as three times two. So three times two is six. Three times five is 15. Now we add, these are also partial products. And if you look, 200 plus eight is 208, which is our first partial product. Product, And 1,500 plus 60 is 1,560, which is our second partial product. So eight plus zero is eight, zero plus six is six, two plus five is seven, and I bring down that one. So 1,768 is our answer. So this is using the area model and connecting that to the standard algorithm. We're gonna do one more on the back. We can even do a bigger number like um, 132 times 67. Okay, I'm gonna break it apart into, oh, I went ahead and drew my area model first. Hold on. Let's erase that real quick. Or white it out. So this would be broken apart into three numbers, 100, 30, and two. And this is 60 plus seven. So now we have our area model, and I'm gonna make my area model a little bit longer this time because I have three digits on the top. 100, 30, two. Then we have 60 and seven. So 100 times 60, 30 times 60, and two times 60, which would be 6,000. Three times six is 18, plus two zeros is 1,800, and two times six is 12, plus a zero is 120. And we have 100 times seven, 
30 times 7 and 2 times 7. So 100 times 7 is 700. 30 times 7, 3 times 7 is 21, plus a 0 is 210. And then 2 times 7 is 14. Again, all of these are partial products. So we just add them up. 6,000, 1,800, 120, 700, 210, and 14. Okay, have a 4 in my ones place. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 8 plus 1 is 9. Plus 7 is 16. Plus 2 is 18. So I write the 8 and carry the 1. 6 plus 2 is 8. So our answer is 8,834.